All right, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to run multiple Roblox accounts on the same PC and yeah, hatch secret pets by running multiple accounts and just get really strong using multiple accounts. So let's get into it. So as you can see here, I've got five different accounts. I only use five because I wanted to use six, but my other account's free to play because I haven't finished that series yet. But you can run like infinite accounts. It depends how much RAM you have. So if you right click on your task bar, uh, this little bar down here, right click it and then click task manager. When you do that, it'll show you the specs of your PC. And you can see here, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. So you're gonna need quite a bit of RAM depending on how many accounts you wanna run. Uh, one account takes like one gigabyte, but your PC also needs the RAM for other stuff. So just check how much RAM you have and check how strong your uh, GPU is. And that should tell you how many accounts you can run. So for me, I'd probably run 12 max, but also depends on your CPU. So yeah, I wouldn't run any more than six, um, to be honest, for me, just because I like to use my computer for other stuff. Like I need a, I need a record, which uses a bit of CPU and GPU, and it uses a bit of RAM as well. So yeah, think about your PC specs before you do this. Uh, but the first thing you're gonna need is uh, Roblox account manager. So you can see I've got this here and this is completely safe. It doesn't go against Roblox terms of service because it doesn't inject anything into your game. It's just the software runs in the background. It doesn't affect your game at all. And then the next thing you need is multi-game instance by We Are Devs. These, this is the same situation as this where it doesn't inject anything into the game, completely free. Multiple other YouTubers have made videos on it and they're not banned, obviously. So it's safe to use and I've been using it for like seven years since the original bubblegum simulator came out something like that so yeah i'll show you where to download them all right so i'm on my browser here and you can see i've got both tabs open this is a github now people steer away from this because they think it's suspicious it's not suspicious at all but if you just google multi-account roblox just search that the first one that comes up here click on the top one the link will also be in the description uh, and then you scroll down a tiny bit just hit download okay just click this download button here. Don't click anything else, just the download button. And then for the multiple games download, you just type in multi-game instance, and it's the top one here. The second link was information. So yeah, you just wanna go to these websites. Both are linked in the description. And then once you're here, you just click this download button here. So for the first one, we're gonna do multiple games. So you download it, save it to anywhere, doesn't matter. And once it says download complete, then it's all good. If it says like download rejected or download failed, click the three dots over here or like the eye that shows and then see what's wrong with it and fix it there. You might need to turn off your antivirus. It depends if you've got one or not, just because it's a .exe file. Um, next one is the uh, Roblox account manager. So you click this download button, this will have the same situation. So if it doesn't let you download it, turn off your antivirus and then it saves as a zip file. Yeah, so you can see I've got them downloaded here. Now the Roblox account manager is a bit more complicated than the multi Roblox. So for this, literally just double click it. It opens, that's it. You just double click it and then it opens and it looks like this. Make sure it's this version. It should be, but just make sure it's that one. Yeah, it's it's really simple. Multiple Roblox, just download it, open it, and it's working. Make sure you have no Roblox games open when you open it. You have to open this and then open your Roblox games. So for the account manager, this one's a little more complicated. Right click it and then press on extract all, extract. And now it has its own folder. Double click this and then you get the actual application itself. Double click it and for me it says it's already running. But for you, it'll pop up with a password and then you put in the password. So I will actually delete my account manager so that I can walk you through how to do it. As much as I don't want to, I wanna help you guys out. So I'll do that. All right, so once you're in the folder, you wanna open this and then it'll pop up with this An update is available. Make sure you click yes. You need to click yes or it will not work. Make sure you press yes. That's really, really important. You have to press yes. If you press no, it will not work. Now the start menu shortcut, if you don't know what start menu is, when you press the windows key on your keyboard, it pops up with the all the applications over here. This is just asking, would you like it to be put into the start menu, which is over here when you press the windows key. So that's completely optional, doesn't matter. I don't want to, so I press no. Now you wanna open this, double click and open the account manager. There we go. Now it looks like this. 
password locked is what you should do. Put in any password. Like I'll just do some random password. Make sure it's one that you can remember. And then you confirm the password. So type the same password again. And now you've got this, very simple. So you press add account once you're here, and then it will load for a little bit, pops up a window here. It's a Roblox login. Just put in your account details. If you don't have a alt account yet, click sign up and then create an account. And then once you have the account created, it will be put up here at the top, okay? Do that as many times as you need to till all your accounts are here. And then for the current place ID, this is the ID of the game that you want to play. So for me, it's BGS Infinity. So in this link here, you can see these numbers. So if you want to run multiple accounts on any game, like, I don't know, Murder Mystery or something, go to the link, copy this number. So Control and C, and then you go back to your account manager, delete all of these numbers, make sure there's no spaces and make sure it's all deleted and then paste it in. And you can see it saves as what game I've put in. Now the job ID, this is for private servers. So for example, I'll grab my private server, go configure, and then this private server link here. So if you have the link, you press copy, and then you go back to your account manager, just paste it all in. And then you wanna highlight all your accounts and then press save, just like that. And then just wait, it'll load and it's done. So I don't need private server, so I'm gonna delete that. And then save, so it saves as empty. Now this uh, follow, so if you wanted to join someone's game, you select the account that you want to join the game. And then let's say you want to join me. You select the account, you click in here, you type my username, and then you hit follow and it'll join the player's game as you can see there. But if they don't have their joins on, it won't join their game. So make sure the player you want to join has their joins on public and it'll work. So if you don't want to join anyone, obviously this will be empty and you just want to join the game. You just press join server. You highlight, highlight all the accounts and then press join server. That's it. That's all it is. So make sure you've downloaded both things. You have this one on and this one on. Open this first and this second, and then highlight all your accounts and then press join. That's it. So I'll show you how it works right now. All right, so you can see I've got all my accounts here and I've got this open. So I opened this first and then I opened this and now I will drag and highlight all the accounts that I want to join. I've got my private server here. I want them all to join the server. So I just press join server, simple as that. And then you just wait and all the accounts will join the server. As you can see, it's already working. I've got two accounts joining right now. There's the third account. Now it's a good idea to have all of your accounts organized. So have them, say for example, if you're like me and you've got Alt 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, put them in that order. So that for example, when you're trading, you know what accounts you're like looking for and where they are. So all five accounts are loaded up now. I'm just gonna sort them into their spot, perfect. And now I can play on every account with no issue. So I can walk them all the way over to the egg and there it is. Now I've got five accounts hatching the limited time 100 million egg and this works for every Roblox game and I'll run through the steps again for you. All right, so I've got a notepad here. I'll just write out the steps. First thing you wanna do is make sure you download multi-game and Roblox account manager. That's the first step, very simple. Just click download like I showed earlier. Two, open, open multi-game. So make sure you're running the multiple game uh, application. Three, unzip the account manager that you have downloaded so that it's just a normal file. Four is run the account manager. So like I showed earlier, once again. All right, so here's all the steps. First step is you need to download multi-game and Roblox account manager, like I showed earlier. Open the multi-game file so that it's running. Then you wanna unzip the account manager, run the account manager, and you'll get a pop-up saying, would you like to auto update? Make sure you click yes, very important, click yes, and then set a password for your account manager. Log into all your accounts on the account manager so that you can see they're all there, like I'll show mine. You can see all my accounts are here and then add a place ID, which I'll also show you is here. So make sure you paste it into there and then highlight all the accounts like this, go under this arrow and then just highlight to what accounts you want. Let's say you wanted to join on one and five, but you can't select it. Just hold down control and click on whatever accounts you want. And you can highlight them even if they're not next to each other. And then just hit join server once they're highlighted. You just click join server and they join the server. It's very, very, very simple. All download links are in the description. 
So if you're worried about downloading a virus or something like that, download them from the description. Uh, down there is also the link to my Discord server where we do giveaways and there's a, over 300 members. We do giveaways, events, you can get in a video, stuff like that. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe.